I watched Netflix's Michael B. Jordan's Raising Dion. Garbage. Everyone's trying to hype it up. Everyone's talking about it. I honestly feel like you can't like this but hate on Hancock. I, that's just my personal opinion. Um, Raising Dion is garbage. It wants to be serious. It wants to be for kids, but it still wants to be serious. There's like some deep sci-fi elements to it. There's some deep science elements to it. And it's like, like, sorry, my tooth, my gums. And it's, it doesn't do anything concretely. It just doesn't. It's legit all over the place. Um, the mom who, raising Dion, she's not. She's not <laughs> raising him at all, to be honest. Um, it's just, she, she. I'm watching it, and then she felt like a sister. She felt like a little auntie, a little TT. She didn't feel like no mom. And the baby kid was acting. They didn't seem like no mom. They had, they, them two had no chemistry. And dude's supposed to be, I think they said second grade. So like seven or eight years old or something. And it's like, I watch it. It's like, well, and my thing is the show is named from the kid. You so clearly the kid is going to be a star. He sucked. Like, he sucked. And I'm sick of people acting like you can't critique children. If you put that shit out there, you can't critique it. He sucked. He sucked. He was the worst. Everything he, everything he talked, he sounded like, sound like a kindergarten trying to learn to speak for the first time. Like, he was just so bratty and it was so annoying. Because he tried to be sweet and then he had him be bratty the next scene. It's like, what the hell? So like it was like frustrating to watch. Hear him speak, it's frustrating to watch. And then he the powers. Okay. What the fuck is on my phone? So at first it made it seem like it was tied to the emotion, but then it made it seem like it was just at a, a whim because he kept saying abracadabra. And it's like, what is the truth? How are you doing this stuff? And then it get into the whole uh Michael B. Jordan did some shit and was a part of some shit. And it's like, okay. And he passed it on. Okay. Uh, spoilers. He's not even in the damn show. He's dead. And then he's like, the last few episodes, they had him heavily in the show. It's like, oh, y'all don't know if y'all want this man to be dead. <laughs> but Raising Dion was garbage. Like, he would wave his hand and, like, the most powerful stuff would just happen. <laughs> But of course, when someone asks, like, yo, show me, nothing happens. Of course, cliche. It's just frustrating. The whole show is frustrating. Um, I didn't have much hype to watch it. I only checked it out because people were talking about it. And I mean, let's be honest. Michael B. Jordan, I'm going to check it out. And I thought the twist for the villain was good. Like, it made sense. I'm sitting there like, this dude is the villain. Listen <laughs> to watch it. Like, dude is the villain. And then I was rewarded, like. I knew he was a villain. Um, it's just frustrating to watch. Like, it tries to do so much stuff, and it fails at everything that it tried to do. Um, the effects were decent, I guess. Um, but you can just throw a... You can write on a card every show this reminds you of and throw it at, and that's where it pulled from. Like, it pulled from so many different shows that we've seen very recently. And it just didn't execute anything. But, you know, whatever. It's my opinion. Raising Dion, skip it. You ain't missing nothing.